Ah, oh, hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. This is me, Jason Newland, and Andre Dooley Newland giving me kisses. For some reason, he wants a bit of attention, don't you? Hmm? Wants daddy cuddles. So this is just, I think this is number 73 in my um, lovely collection of extremely laborious, tedious, and very, very boring, sleepy videos. And I'm doing this live on Facebook. And Andre, for some reason, something's caught his eye. I don't know if he can see himself. I think if he thought he could see another ferret, you'd, he'd react quite a lot. So I think a lot of, um, maybe he can't see the screen with his eyes, or maybe seeing another ferret is more to do with smelling another ferret. Look, I don't think he, I'm not sure if he can see himself, unless he's been on camera so many times that he knows exactly what he looks like, and he's used to it. He used to be in the star of the show, weren't you? Yes. So welcome to those of you that are listening to this on SoundCloud. Welcome to those that you are listening to this on Spreaker. Welcome to those that you listen to this on Spotify. Welcome to those that of you that are listening to this on TuneIn. Uh, that's what others. Welcome to those that you're listening to this on iTunes. Welcome to those that are listening to this on um, I'm trying to think of all the different ones. iHeartRadio. Welcome to those that are listening to this on my podcast. On yeah, on my website, jasonnewland.com, because you can stream every video and audio on there as well as download every MP3 for free, including this, when it's finished. So tune in. Uh, there's another one, it's actually, it's very, um, I'll lose track, I'll remember it in a minute. So a couple of people said hello, uh, Natty and Cassie both said hello, say hello. Andre says hi. Hello, Cassie. Hello, Natty. So, yeah. Wee. So I'm giving him a little massage. He's very trusting. And so he should be. But he knows that he's safe. So I can kind of pick him up, turn him upside down, and he's happy because he's happy regardless of what what direction he's uh, standing up. He sleeps upside down sometimes. <laughs> you give me kisses. He doesn't. I he doesn't hang upside down like a bat. Do you want to get off now? He wants to get off. Wave goodbye to everyone. Bye bye everyone. There you go. He might come back. He wants to go run off and play because this is the time of the evening. Well, it's actually it's 4.58 in the morning, but this is the time when I start making a video that he decides to 
mess around. And as it is, I came home because I was out all day today and I came home and both the kitchen cupboards were open and it knocked, like pushed a load of tins and stuff out of the kitchen cupboards, a bottles of water. So who knows what he got up to when I was out. Is I think in his mind, he knows, I think he thinks I'm a genie, you know, like a, you know, to rub the bottle and the genie appears. I think, cause he's so often he, when he starts being naughty, pushing, but you know, cans out of the cupboard onto the floor, I appear to tell him off. So I think he thought, let's see if that bloke will turn up. So he's, that's his way of like rubbing the bottle of, to get me to appear, to feed him more, to play and stuff. So Kit Cassie says he makes me want to have a ferret. He is uh, yeah. After being out today, and I was out all day. It was a, it was a long day, and coming home to him, it's nice. I was very tired, but just, he came out to say hello to me when I got in. He was asleep. Probably just <laughs> popped his head around to see what, what is that? I heard, so I heard something, what is it? Oh, it's that bloke again. Where's my dinner? And he was, he was just following me around until I fed him. So I got home about seven. I think seven o'clock, half six, seven. So he was ready for his dinner. He's got this thing now that when I get up in the morning or afternoon, whenever it is, as soon as he hears the kettle, because I always have a cup of coffee and my breakfast cereal, that's what I have in the morning or when I get up. Just one cup of coffee a day. He hears the kettle and that's him. He's wide awake and he just watches me. And he waits. Because he knows that basically it's breakfast time for him. Not his food. Not his food, but he wants my breakfast which is uh, what 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 I do now is, is I don't really like sharing with anybody but if I give him a spoonful of my breakfast cereal and I put it into a bowl for him because if I don't do that I can't take I have to hold the bowl the whole time and hide, hold it up away from him because he tries to get to it so I'm trying to eat my breakfast and he's trying to get into the bowl while I'm eating it and he won't give up, he keeps jumping onto the chair. Something that he struggles with the normal days, getting onto the chair, he takes a few attempts normally. When I'm eating something, he zips up there in two seconds. Look what I got, I'll show you what I got. Got this thing. Because I don't know if you're aware, I do I do ASMR videos. Mainly it's just me whispering and doing like a relaxation session or a sleep session. Oh yeah, only watch this or listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. Blah, blah, blah. So I've been trying to think what what new things I can do while maybe doing a, a relaxation ASMR. So I've got this, if you can see it, it's called slime with poo container. Oh no, slime with poop container. 
I haven't actually opened it yet. As you can see, it's sealed, so I have to open it. It look if you look at that. I know this isn't an ASMR video, so don't worry. But it's uh, it looks like it's just going to go everywhere, and it might. So this might be a very messy experience, and I might have to f stop the video. I don't know how to open it though. I hope I haven't pierced it. I got a feeling I have. Oh, have I? Wow. It looks wet. So this is you're gonna be the first ones ever to see this. Well with me anyway. see anything like this in my what <laughs> this is <laughs> this is really weird this is it's definitely not boring It's wet, but it's not wet. So I have to get the rest of it out somehow. Excuse me. So it truly is slime. It's I need some sound effects to go with this the context that's bad. I've never ever in my life seen anything like this well I, ha I have but not not um not that didn't have a an aroma attached. <laughs> wow. <sighs> the thing is, as soon as it's off your hands, it's not even sticky. It's just, it's a little bit like, I know that I've touched something which is just wrong. You can have a look, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see? So yeah, um, someone didn't know what it was and I can honestly say until I've just seen it just now if I put this downstairs in the hallway of my communal you know block of flats if I put that in the hallway near the front door like hanging off the handle that would be very strange, but a strange thing to do, but that'd be, can you imagine having this hanging off the, <laughs> the handle of a front door? So that's, that's the handle and it's just, keeps dropping on the floor. I had the idea that actually when I got it, it would all stick together. So it just, it would be, um, 
It'd be slimy, because that's why I bought it. But it would like stick together, but it is breaking off from each other. And I do wonder, is it gonna stick together? Wow. That's why I've not really given you much of a visual, am I? Cause Very strange. I don't really like sticky stuff. Um, not on my hands. But this isn't sticky, you know. How strange. falling on the floor oh well I'm going to put it back into the thing because it's a bit weird I don't even know how it goes in there I don't think does it have to be kept I think it has to be kept airtight when it's not being used otherwise I imagine it would dry out I can make sure Andre doesn't see it because that looks like something that he'd love to eat Honestly, anything that looks like it's come out of a, a sewer, Andre would be right on it. His dream is to get down the drain in the road. It is. His dream is to climb down there one day. My dream is to make sure he never does. And also winning the lottery as well, that would be nice. So just remember, if you do do the lottery, whether it's the English lottery, whether it's the Euro million lottery, if it's the American lottery, the Canadian lottery, Australian lottery, Chinese lottery, if you do it there, um, whatever lottery that you might do, do you remember if, you know, if or when you win it, please remember to send some money to your, to your favorite, most boring person on the internet and then I can get more toys like this God. it's actually it's not actually very pleasant um, how weird mind you slime isn't supposed to be pleasant is it I think the the word slime in itself, it doesn't I'll put a lid on so it should keep it nice and fresh. What a weird mixture. You can buy, as far as I'm aware, because I went online to re not research it, but to look, you can buy powder, which you can turn into slime. So you can kind of make your own slime of whatever colors and stuff. This is, this is kind of like a rainbowy slime. Slime with poop container. What does it say? Funny durable poop slime. Our slimy toy is a funny popular toy for both girls and boys. It comes in a funny realistic poop looking container in a premium looking gift box. It weighs 4.5 Oz, um, made of real slime. Our unicorn slime is made of 100% real slime, unlike other, unlike other that is made of fake slime. It will last for a long time and will not break or let your kid down. It did break. It's already broken, it's broken into lots of different bits. Can relief. Ah, okay. Basically, they've made it, but the, the um, I'm not an English teacher. 
but it's this has been written by someone that um, was yeah if you listen to it it's can relive stress not relieve but relive stress which is the opposite to what you want to do isn't it try this it helps you to relive the stress no I don't want to relive it I want to relieve it difference only one letter difference but it it's a world of difference our slime toy can help reduce stress symptoms on kids and adults when you keep your mind busy playing with the slime your body and brain focus on that instead of other thoughts or feelings you may feel I thought I'd read it in the manner that I think it was written playing with the slime your body and brain focus on that instead of other thoughts see that's that's the level of uh but so it's funny it's durable it's real slime and oh it does they spell it correctly in this one it says relieve stress so they spelt relieve there properly but on this side it's relive so those i'm guessing that these sell a lot because they're this is something i would have loved to play with when i was a kid so whoever you are k k r i d s carids it's worth uh, perhaps make you know do a bit of spell check before you uh send the product out very pedantic aren't i today oh yes <sighs> let me tell you about my day i last night i say last night it was probably Was it last night? It wasn't night, it was early hours this morning. It's hard to figure it out because early hours this morning means in the last five hours. So it wasn't that. But it was a morning before. So yesterday. I can't say last night because it wasn't last night, was it? Because it was early hours in the morning. So it was yesterday morning. So yesterday morning, about uh, um, I think it was early hours in the morning. It might have been half eleven, twelve, maybe something like that. So I came. I was doing something, and uh, I looked at where was I? Yeah, I was in the kitchen and I turned around. I'm not sure what I was doing. I think I did some washing up. So I don't normally do washing up late, you know, sort of late at night or early hours in the morning. I try and keep things to a minimum when it comes to. Um, Connor James says, is this the couch auction? Um, no. Do you want to buy a couch? No. I'm, uh, no. That's, that's the best question I've ever been asked, though. So thank you for that. So I was in the kitchen. I was doing the washing up. Um, I think the title is available for everyone to see for the, the title of this recording so Connor James Crandall says yes prepare, preferably with I'll re reword this 
preferably we've lived lived in. He wants a, a couch that's preferably lived in. That's my uh, rewording of the statement. So I was in the kitchen making, doing the washing up. So I think I did, I rinsed the bowl out first and then put some washing up liquid in to sort of clean the bowl out. So I do like to soak the the dishes and stuff. I'm not one to leave dishes out so that the food is hard rock, you know. Um, Connor says, do I know anyone who's got a, a lived in sofa? I'd imagine most people have a lived in sofa. So yeah, it's definitely worth, you know, looking around but off the top of my head I don't have uh, my list of uh, sofa owners that are looking to sell their sofas on me right now I normally carry that list around with me um, but I don't have it on me sorry um, I do have a list of people that like to eat pizzas um, you know, around the Easter period. I've got a list of those people, but I haven't got anything about coaches. Couches? Settees, I call them. So, <laughs> all right, so, oh, okay, so we got, that's unusual, so I've got two people. Connor James Crandall, I didn't realise it was a different person. And a Bruce Johnson, this is the couch auction. Um, Ma'am. Uh, right, okay, so it's two people thinking this is the couch auction. This is unusual. Um, no, it's not a couch. I've never, I've never put my details onto Craigslist, and I've never tried to sell a couch, couch or coach, couch. Um, and although it is amusing me, so it's good. So yeah, sorry about that, everybody. Connor says it's sir. Uh, and Bruce Johnson says, why'd Ashanti lie to me? And this is quite good because it means I don't need to say anything but just read out what's been said. Connor says, shoe on head to start auction. Fair enough. Okay. There you go. I'll put my shoe on my head. I can do that. I'm very accommodating. Right, let's start the auction. Ow. Let's start the auction. Um, I don't know what. Uh, should we start at five million? You got five million? Yeah. Isn't it weird though? Because I said five million and you said five just at the same time. So again, Connor, I'm. I won't read out every single word that you said because I do have a family audience. Uh, so $100 for a couch, a well lived in, very appreciated and much loved, and I should strain, stress that, a very much loved couch. Bruce Johnson says pounds. So I'm guessing Connor's into, he's coming from a place where they use dollars, which could be America, could be uh, Canada, could be Australia. I think they use they'll, Australian dollars. Uh, Bruce Johnson is saying pounds. So either he just likes saying the word pounds or he's, uh, that's the currency that he prefers to use 
to purchase products off the internet. Uh, yeah, so I'm guessing, I can only guess, these, these things are just guesses, guesses, you know. Um, Bruce Johnson says, I like saying pounds. Yeah, I do sometimes, I like to say ketchup. Sometimes you get fit, you know, it feels nice. Right, oh, I'm just gonna see. I have to keep skimming back because you're all talking so quickly. And bearing in mind, this is a let me bore you to sleep session. And the reason is because I'm naturally very boring and I talk very slowly naturally. So that's kind of what I do. So it's not, it's not an act. I really do talk this slowly. I'm also trying to balance this slipper on my head or it's a shoe floppy not a flopper but i do have <laughs> have a flopper um like a clog really it's okay i don't know how to read says uh bruce johnson how much do i want um uh, five million even euros i mean I'd even settle for five million euros uh, for the couch that doesn't exist. Uh, Connor is uh, basically letting people know about his life. He's uh, opening up to people. Natty says, I like Axolot but I can't spell it. Uh, okay, um, Connor James Crandall says, I'll give you six million euros for the SETI that doesn't exist. But yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Well, I don't know if it's, a, it's enough really, six million. I mean, generally I'd say yes, but we're quite early in the auction, aren't we? It'd be a bit, it wouldn't be very fair for all the other people that are gonna be joining in with the auction for me just to sort of give it to you straight away. So you can continue with the auction or I can tell you about the washing up. I'm happy either. So Connor James Crandall says, wait, he said a naughty word, which I won't reply. I won't say it out loud. Didn't you all do Brexit? You don't take euros, I forgot. Oh no, we do take euros. Um, so you can use euros in England, but I, we just have to, you can exchange it in the uh, Checker Exchange place, but we don't we don't use use euros like a currency in this country. Uh, the way that let's say Ireland, Ireland just said, yeah, we'll do euros. Uh, we'll get rid of our own currency and we'll do euros, um, and quite a few other countries did that, but we didn't do that. We never were ever gonna get rid of our sterling pound because. That's our currency, just like the US dollars, their currency. Okay, but you can use euros here, as far as I'm aware. And the thing, you can use, you, it doesn't matter what currency you have, because most people seem to buy stuff online nowadays, so whatever currency you have, you can use online. Uh, so that's Connor James Crandall. Natty Shakon. That seems reasonable offer for, oh, I can't keep up with all the messages. That seems reasonable offer for something that doesn't exist, Jason. Yeah, but six million euros, what's that? That's, uh, that's only what, 800 pounds? I don't know, You, I don't know what the conversion is. Connor James Crandall says, do you accept PayPal and I totally won't dispute it after I get the couch. The thing is, if you pay me by PayPal, 
you probably would want to dispute it because you won't receive a couch because it doesn't exist. You know, if we keep going back to re bring reality in a little bit every now and then, but I'm, you know, but I'll have the money. Bruce Johnson says, Indigo, I E A T. <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't know what it is, it's, 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 I'll read it out to you, I don't really know what it means. Indigo, Echo, Alpha, Tango, Alpha, Sierra, Sierra. So that's, that's a car, isn't it? Indigo's a colour. Echo, Echo, Echo. Echo is a, wasn't it Echo a, um, isn't that like a precursor to the Simeon, not Simeon, that's a different thing. Um, Simeon. Uh, if I ever get a son, I'm going to call him Simeon. That's, that's just, uh, Echo, wasn't that like a, pre a precursor to the Amazon thing that you talk to? Okay, so Tango, oh, Tango and Cash. That was on recently, I think. I didn't watch it, but I think sometimes some of those older movies, you know, from the 80s and stuff, loved them when I was a kid, but kind of don't want to spoil it by watching them as an adult. Alpha again. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, two alphas. That's, uh, and Sierra, Sierra. Yeah. Bruce Johnson says... I eat. Yeah, I do as well. I, I like to eat. I had a biscuit earlier. Um, so I went to visit. I had to visit someone. And I went into Sainsbury's, which is a supermarket that um, it's all over the country, really. They're quite popular. And I went into Sainsbury's and the thing is, I knew that I didn't have enough food here for when I got home because I'd eaten all the breakfast cereal. Um, so I only had, well, I didn't have any more breakfast cereal other than Ready Break. And although I love Ready Break, the thing with that is I need a saucepan and I need to heat the milk up. And if the saucepan's being soaked in the sink, it just means washing up and sometimes I can't be bothered. Uh, so Bruce Johnson and Corner, Connor, James Crandall are uh, talking to each other. Uh, I don't know what language that is. So um, good. It's good. I think it's good when people make friends, isn't it? People meet each other for the first time. They meet, it's just a standard thing, isn't it? You, you go online, you think that you're, you know, you wanna buy yourself a couch, a very well lived in and loved, much loved couch. Um, and you just, you know, you, you wait, maybe you wait for years and then you get, you think, oh, oh, I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go into Craigslist or I'll just ran, you randomly come across a, a Facebook live stream which has nothing to do with couches, uh, nothing to do with anything to do with couches or, you know, stains or anything like that. And, and then you get to meet somebody new and it's, and the, the live recording is just some bloke that makes these really boring sessions to help people get to sleep and but in the process in the whole process of it and then you start haggling you know uh, to try and give you know like, I'll pay six million pounds or six million dollars uh, for this sofa this couch that doesn't exist but in the process you start doing the phonetic alphabet uh, which I learned, you know, when I was actually in the Sea Cadets when I was 12 years old, 
so yeah I kind of know the phonetic alphabet uh, for quite a few years what 30 odd and um, was it Alpha Brava Delta Charlie so and then you meet someone new who also likes to talk using the phonetic alphabet it's like two people in a call center falling in love from across the room and they're so used to using the phonetic alphabet to double check the information that they're processing and putting into the computer and then they get excited so the for Ben Hubber what am I talking about this is a let me boy to sleep and nothing really is about anything it's just talking Connor James Crandall wants to be in my video this is just really me talking at you this doesn't uh, I don't take live calls sorry it's uh, I don't have yeah is this me just rambling yeah I'm just a ramble it's me talking at you it's not really I mean because I do them live sometimes I've been doing quite a few live let me bore you to sleeps and the majority of people who will listen to these will listen to them on the podcast so they won't even watch the video and so basically what will happen is I just talk about whatever I want to talk about but if someone does come on and want to sort of talk and stuff I will I will reply you know I don't ignore comments and it is easier to do it when I'm just recording the audio and I've got no distractions but for some reason this one's fairly interesting so Bruce Johnson wants to be on my video that's because I'm so popular who wouldn't want to be on this I mean why would you want to watch Netflix or you know the inter why would you want to be getting intimate with someone that you are attracted to or why would you want to do go to sleep or do anything that's enjoyable when you can watch me talking about nothing and the good thing is uh, you can tell me that I'm boring and that's actually a compliment because that's the point uh, Ben wants me to put him can you put me on your head okay so now I've got Ben how many different ones of you have I got Ben Connor and Bruce Connor keeps saying that he loves you but I don't know if he's me he loves or if it's um, Bruce so I'm yeah but as I was saying it's nice that you've all um, met each other and made lifelong friends and I feel I don't know it was years ago I started doing these you know recordings hypnosis videos and audios in 2006 and my biggest hope back then is that I could one day reach a big audience and help people as much as possible with chronic pain and relaxation people that were suffering emotionally and physically and I really wanted to help people I never knew never thought that I get to the point where um, I could bring people together online to then go on to have a lifelong relationship whether romantic or not and that that feels it's yeah it's, it, it feels something yeah so there you go is this is this ASMR not really um, although I am talking quite softly aren't I I don't um, I'm not shouting but then not many people really come online and shout but yeah it's not ASMR not really this is just me if you get tingles and you feel relaxed and calm listening to me or watching me or then it can be you know it can be whatever you want it to be 
the main thing for this is just to uh, feel relaxed and for you to let go and in a way it can be kind of like a meditative experience in a sense of when you're focusing on this focusing on me focusing on my voice focusing even on what other people are commenting you're not focusing on other things so you're giving yourself a bit of time to relax so yeah so this is all about feeling calm and relaxed and all that stuff and it's really lovely that you you know so many of you want to be in my video it's quite ironic really because I did a video the other night and I was specifically asking people to join in and nobody did want to why well, had one person want to so that would have been nice but it's uh, this isn't that kind of session this is a relaxing sleepy boring session and I'd like to thank those of you that have commented because you've helped make it even more boring than it normally is so that's really good you've contributed and I like the fact that you've purposely um, helped me and made your comments purposely boring to fit in with the 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 energy of this session so it's very kind of you um, Ben says could you balance a book on the crock on your head I don't think so <laughs> um, I like the fact that you came back and you'd like you must have typed in really quickly balance a book balance a book I like really so Bruce Johnson wants to be in my video again I just feel so privileged that that you want to be part of this this amazing experience that is it's got to be pretty fantastic and I understand, I mean, why wouldn't you want to be, to be involved in such uh, an event? So yeah, I do appreciate that the urge and the longing to, to want to participate in something so amazing. But, uh, and Connor again, Connor James Crandall wants to join in as well. But you can still join in by posting your your messages and your comments and your uh, your cheery, supportive comments of hope and love, because that's that's always welcome in today's world. Because you know, the more love we can show each other, the more kindness uh, can really help people in, in a in a big way. So I'm all for that. So I do appreciate any kind of kindness that can be shown because I think, and Bruce Johnson wants to, uh, I'm gonna call you Bruce Johnston if that's okay. I prefer Jen Johnston rather than Johnson. Um, Connor says, I have no hope and he loves The Walking Dead. Okay, so I mean you've got, this is, a nice place to enjoy feeling relaxed. You can just feel calm. You can just let go. You can give up on any kind of worries because you don't need to. Don't need to worry about anything. You can just completely let the muscles in your body relax and let your mind kind of just switch off you know in a sense of imagine you was in I'm guessing some of you have worked some of you have worked in the past I know I have it's a while back so I've worked in offices and And um, I 
at the end of the day, you know, in the evening, you turn the lights off individually, one by one. I know that some switches turn off more than one light at the same time. Because um, I used to work in this place that had that process and there was, I'm sure there was like about four different bunches of switches, light switches. And I was working there for years and I still couldn't kind of figure out which lights lit which part of the place. So some of the lights lit, they turned on the kitchen lights. One part turned on the lights in the bar. One part of the lights turned the stage lights on. One part of the lights turned the bathroom lights or the, the go toilet lights on and another part turned the rest of the part of the club on like in three different parts if you got it wrong for example if you went to turn the stage lights on ready for the you know the first act and the place was full of people eating you know or they'd finished their food and all waiting for the show to start but then you click the wrong buttons, the, the wrong switches, and you turned all the kitchen lights off, and you'd hear people shouting, and uh, yeah, so that was kind of funny at times. Ben Harper, let's have a look, Hubba, Harper, I'll call you Harper. Ben Harper says, Cor 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 Ben Hubba says, the Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza for you and me. I've never actually had a crusty crab pizza. And Ben Hubbarder says, Jason, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. Yes, thank you. That's very, very, very nice. Very uh, weird. So yeah, um, thank you. Thank you for that lovely poetry. <sighs> How long have we got left before I can uh, stop? I normally try and do it for about an hour, but I forgot when I started. What I'm gonna do is turn me, turn my laptop on. And uh, I'll take this off, I forgot I had that on. Let's have a look. So it's 5.46 in the morning. I've been online since... It's probably gone a bit quicker than... Oh, it has. Because um, I've had quite a few people... Um, I don't know what the right word is, but contribute. I, uh, I've been on here for 53 minutes. So there is seven minutes left and then I will go. And I will, yeah, 47, 57, maybe eight minutes, maybe nine. Never get to, t didn't get to tell you about my day, didn't get to tell you about my washing up. I suppose I'll have to wait till tomorrow. Um, <sighs> I think that's uh, Suzuki No has told me that I ate your dog. Andre, so that was Andre, sorry about that. Uh, you ate my dog. That's nice. Thanks, I'm, I'm pleased. I had wondered where it got to, but at least I know that it went to a, a good place. A happy home. Uh. <sighs> 
that's the thing, doing these live, well, doing, basically making a recording when I'm tired means that I yawn a bit. Zaki No uh, says, pronounce, how dare I say it wrong? Um, okay, I'll pronounce your name wrong. Okay, I won't try and pronounce it again then. Uh, it's just how I pronounce it. If someone, if someone pulls me up on how I pronounce a word, I'll just say to them, that's how I pronounce it. So, luckily I'm not too worried about stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, not all names are easy to know how to pronounce based on the particular spelling on the screen. It might be, I think, so if you If you um, if you're from a particular part of the world, uh, you know how to pronounce perhaps names that are known to you. So I, when my twenties, I worked with people from all around the world, and a couple of people I worked with used to call me Jason because they, they didn't, that's how they pronounce my name. And I said, that's fine. As long as you keep bringing me in chocolate to eat and sweets, you know, I'm happy. You can call me, call me Bob, you can call me anything. As long as I have a Kit Kat every now and then, have one of your fingers. I like a nice finger, nice chocolate finger. So, says so, so, so Zazuk, says, uh, starting today, I ate your beard. You know, I eat bits of my beard. Sometimes it gets, it, it does get in my mouth, my beard, and uh, I get that. It's like an old memory comes back, that like, eh, <clears throat> You know, like having a hair in your mouth, that, that reminds me of something, but I'm not sure what. Natty Chacon says, okay, cool. And Sazuke, Sazuke says, uh, I don't know what that is. Ooh. Yeah, so it's it's really lovely that so many people have come out to play today, and it's you know it's great. Uh, don't get me from. Don't get me from you cool, but you pronounce. Okay. Can you pronounce it for me then, please? In a way that I can pronounce it. I will try and pronounce your name rightly. I'm all for making people happy. The thing is, when people come on, whether it's fa YouTube, Facebook and stuff, I assume that they've just got made up names. And when I see lots of people come on, all kind of, within a couple of minutes of each other and I assume it's possibly the same person with lots lots of different Facebook profiles, like fake ones. That's just, uh, I've been in the game a long time, you see. I've been on the game a long time. I am pretty cool though, aren't I? You're right. So I don't know how to pronounce. You know, I've actually had 
girlfriends that I didn't know how to pronounce their names. I've had friends that I didn't know how to pronounce their names, so I just call them mate. You right, mate? Or bruh, you know. I don't always know how to pronounce people's names. That's why I'm glad uh, my dad, I can just call him dad, because it's just too complicated otherwise. Also having to remember as well. It's good. So, um, Mr. No is leaving. So thank you for participating in whatever this was. I have no idea what this was. And, but this is Let Me Bore You To Sleep number 73 which means there have been 72 episodes previously not all of them have been live some of them, there's quite a few of them have been live on facebook there's been some on youtube i started doing these i think in february last year so over that time i've done 73 about over 73 hours worth of me talking about pretty much nothing. Natty says that she, I have no idea either. Yeah, this has been probably one of the more surreal sessions where I've not been the surreal person. So yeah, this is, you kind of made it easy for me because uh, my people just like commenting and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's been a bit unusual, but this is 2019. What are you going to do? And uh, I just hope that everybody's well, happy, relaxed, calm. That's the point of these, is for you to relax and chill out, feel calm, sleepy. And I understand that, uh, thanks Natty, uh, I understand that the, not everybody that watching it live will perhaps be going to sleep, but people listening to it on the podcast afterwards may well be using it for that reason. So that's why I try and keep things as calm as possible and uh, if someone says naughty words, you know, posts, I never re repeat those words because this is a family show. It's a family environment. It's a nice, uh, friendly, user-friendly experience for everybody. Everyone's welcome from anywhere in the world uh, to listen, to watch, and hopefully to benefit in some way. I think I've completed my one hour. So I'm going to go. So I think Natty, it's goodbye to you and goodbye to everybody that listened and watched and um, participated. So you can find, you can download all of my stuff, all of my MP3s on my website, jasonnewland.com. And I guess I'm going to upload this to YouTube. And I'll also upload the MP3s to all the different podcasts as well. SoundCloud, Spreaker, iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, and a few others. Stitcher, I think it's another one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great Sunday, a great week ahead. and. You know, you might be listening to this in 2023, so maybe have a good Wednesday, because it might be a Wednesday tomorrow, if you'll listen to it in the future, on a Tuesday. Bye, everyone. Bye.